Hey guys, Jake here coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you today. So let's jump into it. We're going to find the dimensions of the rectangle with perimeter 100 meters, whose area is as large as possible. This is a pretty common type of optimization problem uh, that you might run into. Um, really, when you see a problem like this, there's kind of two things that you want to look at. Uh, you want to come up with the equation that you're trying to optimize, whether it's find the minimum or the maximum. And then you also want to kind of sort through what restrictions you've been given. So let's think about those two things for a second here. Obviously, we are trying to find the dimensions of a rectangle. And what we're trying to do is make the area as large as possible. Right. So if you think about the area of a rectangle, let's think about what a rectangle would be. Let's say this side is X and this side is Y. The area of this rectangle is just going to be X times Y. So this is the function that we're trying to make as large as possible. So let's just call this function F of X, Y, which basically just means it's a function of X and Y. It's a you know multivariable function, but what we're going to do is use our restriction to make this into a single variable function so that it's easier to optimize or easier to find the maximum of. And how you would do that is by considering the information that they told you about this rectangle, which is that the perimeter is 100 meters. So we know that if we add up all these side lengths, we would add them up to 100, right? Uh, what we know about rectangles, obviously they have four 90 degree angles. And what that means is opposite sides have the same length. So if this is X and Y, then these sides would be Y and X. Um, but what the, what you want to think about is how you can write their perimeter as a function of X and Y. And obviously the perimeter of a rectangle is just the sum of all four of the sides. So if we add up all four of these sides, we would have two X's and two Y's being added up together. So 2x plus 2y would give us our perimeter of this rectangle, and we know that the perimeter is 100 meters. So this is the equation that tells us the restriction that we have to deal with, and then this is the function that we're going to optimize. So what we can do is use this restriction equation, solve that for one of the variables, and then use that into this equation to make this into a single variable equation. So let me show you what I mean by that. If we just get one variable all by itself, let's just say we want to solve this for X, right? So we'll subtract two Y from both sides. That'll cancel there. We'll have two X equals 100 minus two Y. Then if we divide both sides by two, that'll cancel there and we'll get X equals 50 minus Y, right? So now if we take this X and we plug it in for X into this equation over here, we would get 50 minus Y times Y. And now this function is just a function of Y, right? We've replaced all our X's with just putting it in terms of Y. So now it's a single variable function. So now we have a single variable function that we're trying to make as large as possible. Or in other words, we just need to figure out where this is as large as possible. And then we can kind of take it back to this equation here. So we're going to want to keep this equation. This is going to come into play later. And then this is the function that we're going to maximize. So if you're trying to maximize a function, the first thing you need to do is find its critical numbers, which basically just means take the function's derivative and set it equal to zero. So if we take the derivative of this function, what I would actually recommend doing first is distributing this y into your parentheses. So doing that will give us f of y equals 50y if we multiply y by 50 and then if we y, multiply y by negative y we'll get negative y squared so this is our function now if we want to take the derivative of this function the derivative of 50y is just 50 and then the derivative of y squared using the power rule is going to be 2y so then what we'll do is we'll take this equation and set it equal to zero so doing that will give us 0 equals 50 minus 2y. We can add 2y to both sides. And then we can divide both sides by 2, giving us y equals 25. So if y equals 25, that is our critical number. That tells us that this function, f of y, is either has a, a maximum or a minimum at y equals 25. We could test 
to figure out using a couple different methods that I have done videos about, and I'll link to those if you wanna check those out. But there's kind of a shortcut here. We know that this is a parabola, right? Because it's a polynomial it, and its highest power variable is y squared. So since we have just a y squared term and a y term, uh, and then kind of an imaginary constant of plus zero, we know that this is gonna give us a parabola. And since the coefficient of our y squared term is negative, we know that it's gonna be a downward facing parabola, right? So on a graph, it might look something like this. So what that means is a parabola, we know is always gonna have one critical number. And if it's a downward facing parabola, we could see pretty clearly that it's going to be at the maximum. So y equals 25 is gonna be where our maximum occurs. But remember what the question asked us to do was find the dimensions of this rectangle. So we need to figure out both x and y to give us our dimensions. Well, remember, we know that y is 25, and then we know that x is 50 minus y. So if we just simply plug in y equals 25 into this equation, that'll give us x equals 50 minus 25, which is 25. So x and y both being 50, or in other words, our rectangle having you know, width, width and height of 25 will mean that our rectangle will have a perimeter of 100 meters. So these would be 25 meters. And the area is gonna be as large as possible.